Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to our echocardiography registry review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question to give you enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive back into this thing. Click on the isovolumic contraction waveform. The answer is right here in this region. This waveform is the isovolumic contraction time, which does not represent elevated left end diastolic pressures. A, an E to E of 16. B, deceleration time of 160 milliseconds. C, an E to A of 3. Or is it D, AR duration is 20 milliseconds and the A wave is 50 milliseconds. The answer is B, deceleration time of 160 milliseconds. What is causing the dip in the waveforms indicated by the arrows? A, RV systolic dysfunction. B, ventricular contraction. C, pulmonary hypertension. Or D, atrial contraction. The answer is D, atrial contraction. What is being measured in this image? A, AR duration. B, AR velocity. C, severe mitral regurgitation. Or is it D, AR pressure half time? The answer is B, AR velocity. The negative Doppler shift waveform is occurring when? A, systole, B, diastole, C, IVRT, or D, IVCT. The answer is A, systole, which does not represent elevated left atrial pressures. A, LA volume index equals 100 centimeters squared per meter squared. B, pulmonary artery systolic pressure equals 90 millimeters mercury. C, IVRT equals 30 milliseconds. Or is it D, SD equals 0.8? The answer is A, LA volume index equals 100 centimeters squared per meter squared. What would make this correct is if it said 100 milliliters per meter squared. The sweep speed should be what when evaluating IVRT? A, 50 millimeters per second. B, 100 millimeters per second. C, 25 millimeters per second. Or is it D, 150 millimeters per second? The answer is B, 100 millimeters per second. What does this nuclear medicine image show? A, multivessel disease. B, single vessel disease. C, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Or D, normal test.
The answer is D, normal test. A nuclear medicine examination is really good for determining single vessel disease. The image on the left is in diastole and the image on the right is in systole. What does the cardiac MRI image show? A, cardiac tumor. B, myocardial infarction. C, dilated cardiomyopathy. Or D, normal cardiac MRI. The answer is B, myocardial infarction. You can see here in systole that the walls are really thin when they should be thick. During a stress test, why would you ever need to tilt the table to lower the head below the body? A, standard resting post-exercise position. B, post-exercise ischemia. C, post-exercise hypotension. Or is it D, post-exercise arrhythmia? The answer is C, post-exercise hypotension. What happened to make the Doppler on the right look like the Doppler on the left? A, aortic regurgitation increased. B, heart rate increased. C, mitral regurgitation increased. Or is it D, patient is performing Valsalva? The answer is B, heart rate increased. What is the arrow pointing to? A, isovolumic contraction time. B, isovolumic relaxation time. C, ejection time. Or D, diastasis. The answer is C, ejection time. What occurs between the two lines in this image? A, IVRT, B, IVCT, C, atrial kick, or D, rapid filling? These are the two lines I'm talking about. The answer is A, IVRT. What is being evaluated in this image? A, LV inflow, B, LV outflow, C, RV outflow, or D, RV inflow? The answer is B, LV outflow. You can see that the cursor here is going through the aortic valve. What occurs at the area indicated by the arrow? A, IVRT, B, IVCT, C, atrial kick, or D, rapid filling? The answer is D, rapid filling. What does the spectral Doppler demonstrate? A, severe aortic stenosis. B, severe aortic regurgitation. C, severe pulmonic regurgitation. Or is it D, severe pulmonic stenosis? The answer is C, 
severe pulmonic regurgitation. The waveform directed towards the transducer occurs when? A. IVRT, B. IVCT, C. Systole, or D. Diastole. The answer is D. Diastole. The positive Doppler shift in this image will help calculate what? A. Left ventricular end diastolic pressure. B. Pulmonary artery end diastolic pressure. C. Right ventricular systolic pressure. Or is it D. Pulmonary artery end systolic pressure? The answer is B, pulmonary artery and diastolic pressure. Quicken the structure that drains the myocardium. The answer is right here. This is the coronary sinus. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming echo boards, feel free to email me at ultrasoundboardview at gmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking to purchase mock exams, go to my website, ultrasoundboardreview.com, ultrasoundboardreview. Click on the link here. Click on enter the pass zone. Scroll down, look for echocardiography mock exams, click on it, scroll down, and then click subscribe. If you're looking for more of a one-on-one -on -one echocardiography tutoring, go to the same page, scroll down until you see echocardiography tutoring right there, click on that, scroll down, and then click subscribe. If you're looking for an echocardiography workbook to study, go to the same page, scroll down, and the workbook is right here, click on that and click purchase, and then I will mail the book to you. I'm Jim with Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.